I don't think that I call myself the most important person of all time for no apparent reason. There's quite a bit that goes on with having that much self-confidence and self-love that most people don't see in me because they don't compare my intentions and actions pretty well. That's me being very arrogant by saying that. But how was I even then compared to now with that kind of arrogance? You know, it does come from a good intention and a good heart kind of thing. Even compared to when I wanted to be the most nicest person in the world. But uh, a lot of what you'll get out of me lately in the future from this these couple of clips from my Airbnb 10 channel, even compared to that, is that I don't tend to be the person who would be hard on myself, even if I literally have already done that before. I don't think claymation or cartooning are grudges, per se, but I do treat them like things that they could... They, they, I do treat those creative pursuits and art animation as if they're not any better than what I had to deal with. That, that's not the worst, weirdest, uh, irrelevant, or nonsensical way to explain that, but I might be fine on even then. I was going through quite a bit of shit there. I actually, I, I can look at these clips and I know that I just, I didn't have to do any of this stuff. I still did them. I wouldn't even go as far as saying that I'm arrogant for saying that I do everything for a reason so I never make mistakes or have regrets. But going through this stuff makes me really think because I really do think there's a fundamental context in all sustenance that I keep, I keep missing about. It's like, as deep and intense and insightful as I am, mysterious all that, as I've always been insightful, always been creative, always been that source of pure, pure essence of light for everyone's lives, including my own. L look at this kid, by the way. He has those glittery eyes, probably before a porn addiction, by the way, <laughs> prior to that. But um, even in the midst of what people are saying uh, as for life being suffering or, uh, or ups and downs, all things are going to be neurotic and disgust philosophy, whatever I call about that. I was still a really amazing person back then. If people don't believe that I actually was worth their time, or that I should have just been taking easy on things, even as deep as I made things and didn't have to understand things, and I still could be ignorant in a sense, but I was, I could just live that simple life. I didn't have to like, go for all the extreme things, even though I knew I was doing. But I think for this person to grow up 10 years later and not have to worry too much about even the things that still matter to him or could be so important, that is a very beautiful thing. 